And we are back. <laughs> Skibbity boop ba 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 ba. <laughs> the elder Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. That guy's here with us. Yes. In spirit. Skibbity. Scoobity. Scooby Doo. Buddy. In the uh, reality. In the skibussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look in there. Don't, don't don't look too deep. Brain will rot. You'll never come back out. Well, hopefully you guys are ready for another jam-packed episode here at Toilet Time TV. We have colleague back from his adventures on Top Earth. It's good to be back, Jack. It's it al- really is. It's always good to be back. There's Welcome nothing back. like home suites. No, oh, that's true. Oh, home base. I can actually attest to that. You're testing it. I can attest to it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tuberculosis. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully you guys are ready to test out the uh, the testers, the uh, functioners, the flowers, the uh, mamalas, the uh, the kamalas. The, um, yeah. Would you say Obamalas? Are you, are you combining Michael Obama and Kamala? Well. They've been coining Kamala Mama Law. Like, oh. Like Mama. Like the Mama Law. Like the Mother Law. Like a Mama Lama Mama. Oh, that reminds me also, <coughs> if you guys haven't heard, it's a perfect way. Go, guys, check out the open source uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lama uh, 3.0, 405 billion parameter uh Meta open source AI. It's better than ChatGPT. I don't know who cares, but welcome to Mamala TV. <laughs> Thank you. I know we all have been waiting to see if Biden was alive. Which he is. Well, we didn't know. That's what was interesting. So after uh, a couple uh, episodes of him saying he's never going to drop out of the race, nobody could see him anymore. He never showed up, and so everybody was saying, is he alive, is it not? So, what's interesting about this whole thing, a lot of things we're going to be talking about today, is the evidences of Google Voice, Google Truth, (laughs) Google, (laughs) just, just Google. That sounds like true grit. Yeah. But we got... To see the uses of Google with their free version. It's not a paid version, you could tell, but it's the free version of Google Voice where we got to hear Mamala show us that Biden is truly alive. It is so good to hear <clears throat> our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the, on the call. And- Did you catch it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's play that back. This is Google's free voice, you know, free voice service. Uh, you know, they should have spent a little bit more money and got the paid version. It is so good to hear our president's yes, voice. Our president. Joe, I know you're still on the still on the still on the on the call. Mm-hmm. And we've been talking every day. Um, every day. you probably you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Yeah, Jill. Google voice. We really do. They truly are like family to us. Mm. And we do everybody here. Yeah. It's neutral. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love, I love that. Nothing like Big Brother watching you. It's like I'm watching you, <laughs> but I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. Yeah, through Google's free voice service. Yeah. So this is just the first layer of many things. <clears throat> There's other things we're going to talk about with the. Uh, Sonia uh, Matsi, or Matsi, I don't remember how to pronounce her last name, but, you know, we've talked about it before, where Google AI is eventually, you know, OpenAI, Sora, Trash, whatever, they're all going to some point be used to fake videos. And there's a perfect example of this, which we're going to show later, but it's mm-hmm. all happening the skibbity toilets are coming alive. Like if you guys haven't seen yet, you know, for me, it was a new thing. I didn't even know it was a real, (laughs) I didn't even know it was a real reality 
but it's happening. Like you guys just need to watch the skibbity <clears throat> toilet thing where the to- the head actually just turns into truth. Bro, look, the border is open. Finally, we can come into. But uh, mm. we're going to see a lot of that this week. Yeah, it reminds me, you know, there is, it is hard to tell what's real and what's not out there anymore because, I mean, well, look at, so look at this video. Tell me what you think. It's real life skippity. <laughs> so you have this it looks like it's ai it looked like one of those ai generated films but that wasn't that was actually ni generated yeah that that's that's probably what we've lost is real editing and it's because what mamala says about this generation what else do we know about this population 18 through 24 they are stupid <laughs> Look at it. That Look is at why we put them in dormitories. That's right. <clears throat> you guys are 18 to 24. Mamala says you guys are just stupid. Well, we're trying to unburden ourselves of the things that have been so we can be the things that are going to be. Well, you know, she says you're not just a coconut. No, you're a Venn diagram. You're, you live within the context. I don't know what's wrong with you young people. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context <laughs> of tomorrow, mm-hmm. which is today, but in the future. But you're not burdened by the things of your past. That's right. Yeah. Uh, unless you're Joe Biden. President Biden, you're getting up there, man. 81 years old. You'll be 82 at the time of the inauguration if you're reelected. 86 at the end of that presidential term. Some people are concerned that maybe you shouldn't be in this race. Are you 100% undoubtedly are you running staying for the election? 1,000%. 1,000%. We've got to finish the job. We will 1,000%, in your words, see you on the ballot this November. Unless I get hit by a train, yeah. yeah you can get hit by a train. Let's hope that doesn't happen for your safety, sir. Thank you. No Thank secret you, service. <laughs> Nine days later, President Biden drops out of the race. <laughs> <laughs> So, so he was a thousand percent. Mm-hmm. He should have asked him, "Are you a th- two thousand percent?" Maybe that's Bidenomic math. I don't know. Well, so I, more like Terrence Howard's been teaching him math or something. To me, it answers everything. Like anybody with ADD knows that there's a super massive Adderall sort shortage. <clears throat> and I was trying to figure out where did it all go. <laughs> it's it's probably because it all ended up, uh, they had to take all the supply and feed and pump Biden with it as much as he could. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, uh, now that he, now see, we're going to be able to prove it. Now that he's out of the race, if the Adderall shortage comes back to normal and now everybody's able to get their Adderall bang, it's because, uh, you know, Biden doesn't need it anymore. You know, what that guy really needs is embalming fluid. Maybe some mummy wrap or something. I don't know. Well, everybody, that's all the Demo- all the Republicans and everybody else, even some of the Democrats, I don't know, who cares? They were all trying to say, we need a proof of life. Nobody believed he was even alive. And so this is what they brought out, the best of the best. Well, we heard from Kamala. Um, we heard, literally, we heard his voice on the record, I mean, the, the phone call mm-hmm. from Kamala. Yeah. She actually talked with him. You could actually hear his voice. And we don't have the technology to um, mimic voices yet. No, no, of course not. There's no such thing as AI. Yeah, no. But Biden also wanted to show, to be hip with the new generation, he wanted to give out his top 10 list of best rappers. So this is Biden's top 10 list of best rappers. <laughs> That's right. These are Biden's top ten. Uh, 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 uh,
rapper name? Yeah, yo. I cry me up. Say, yo. Out this way, you know. Bitch, blah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put a movie. I'm put that on a movie. This sounds like where Biden was learning. Elder Michael Jakes was like, Benny Dano smoking organic. That guy ran right up back. Hit that girl. No. Who no water rolls a plot? It really is. Wow. So you guys tell me if you guys agree with Biden's top 10 list. <clears throat> Juice World sounds like a place I'd take my kids to. Like, you know, you have Candy World and um, Fun World, Trampoline World. Juice World seems like, I, I don't know how these people have any kind of street cred or anything. Well, who cares? Like, Remember, this is Biden's top 10 list. I'm just not going to be intimidated by someone who, who comes up to me with the name of Juice World. <laughs> it's like, what are you? Or, or like, uh, what's that? Little Bags, yo, or whatever the guy's name was. <laughs> Double pump or one pipe, pump chump pipe guy. Bag, little, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little pipe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I just, it's hard to be intimidated by people like that. But when I heard this, I was like, this sounds just like Biden, like when he talks. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was a foot him, uh, foot, foot. She knew no, she knew so long as she was denied, our freedom can never be secured. Excuse me. Ooh. He's a mumble rapper. Mm. And I, it didn't make sense. I thought it was just really, you know, he's getting older. But he's been trying to get hip with the younger generations. So I'm, I'm calling out for all you people who do like those remixes. Like you find somebody viral and then you guys make a song. You guys should make Biden a mumble rapper. I think it'll fit right in. It's like, Damn, I didn't even know about my ice cream yesterday. I don't know. <laughs> but that's his top 10 list. You guys tell me if you guys agree with his list, but I don't agree. <laughs> I just don't. But I will say he's probably the guy who hired this uh Agatha Ingred or Inbred Agatha or whatever to do the national anthem, which I know everybody heard. But I, I wanna play it for everybody. Well show one us more time. Show us what making America great again is all about. With pleasure. Thank you. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Mm. Oh, hold on. I, I just got to pause it right here just to throw this in there. Tell me this doesn't seem like some kind of really mean laugh test. Because the camera gets really close to these players' faces. And it's like, are you going to laugh? Or are you going to laugh? It's waiting for somebody well, scripted is what you're saying. No, I don't know. No, some guy, one guy loses. You can tell, like he starts smiling. Like you, it, it, it's weird. It's like everybody knows this is bad, and now the camera's going to zoom up on everybody's faces, all these players' faces. So that way, if they laugh, they're probably going to lose their spot in the the <laughs> the baseball or whatever. I mean, people have to believe <clears throat> we're living in a simulation by this point. This seems pretty real, though. Now, I'm talking about this is not real life. <laughs> this is not what we've been seeing <laughs> for the last 20 years. All right, well, you'll see what I mean. This looks like a really mean laugh test. It and just, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. If there was a camera on my face and I'm listening to this, I would, ha I would fight with everything in me. This not is to the laugh. Truman Show. This seems more real, though. Well, I'm saying so did that to Truman. <laughs> well, here it is. What so proudly uh, we hail. This is top ten by list. The twilight's last gleaming. Why are they on stars? Who what is this? Stripes and bright no. stars. Yes. Through the pale. Oh, get out of here. Look at this. Look at Who's it going to be? Are you going to be? This is the Truman Show. Yeah, I'm sitting there looking like. We're so gallant. Hold up, bro. <laughs> this ain't real. It's good, like. No. And the rockets break. Making America great again. The bombs bursting in air. Yeah, he through the night. That our flag was still there. Yeah. Oh, say does that star? 
Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like one of those girls that get questioned. Like a hot to a girl. <laughs> she's probably drunk. <laughs> Look at her. She's like moving her hair like, mm -hmm. oh. the What are these stars? Star Spangled. It's like, uh, yeah. Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Look, we're going to zoom up. <laughs> Make America great again. I feel like they do this every year. Literally every year they do the national anthem and they jack it up with some kind of Biden elected person to sing it every single year. Well, it sounds like a Trump elected person to me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe yeah, yeah. it seems like he's making rap great. If again. you guys ever, if you guys watch the RNC, the Republican national committee, you would agree. This is Trump action. Whatever happened over there looked like a CERN ritual. <laughs> it could have been. But that Joker played an opera song at the end of his speech. <clears throat> he had the longest recorded speech in all history. Trump was sitting up there for an hour and a half. And then at the end, he played an opera song. And the opera song was off of a movie that at the end, when that guy played the opera song, it's because it was showing that the president found out there was a conspiracy to assassinate him and he figured out who assassinated him. So then he killed his assassinational people. And at the end of that movie, they were playing this opera song. So he was playing that opera song, ass asserting the fact that he knows who was trying to assassinate him. Yeah, this just this feels like making America great again. Yeah, but we know that Biden with his top 10 rappers is trying to make rap great again. I don't know. This whole thing to me feels like we are watching a show. There is no president. <laughs> there is no Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> there is no You got your top 10 list that sounds just like Biden. <laughs> Uh, you got Biden on AI with Google Voice. We got Ingrid Andress. Yeah. Is this the same moment? Hey. They said when they introduced her to sing the anthem, they knew what they were doing. They've heard her before. That that sounds really bad. And uh, they actually introduced her as winning four Grammys. So I don't know how that's possible. Well, you, that's well. The only thing you're proving is the same thing. There Auto tunes. Nothing, there ain't nothing real. That that that's not real. They have like people. You know that top ten list I just showed you, Biden's mm -hmm. top ten list. Those same artists they showed. There's concerts with eighty million, in like some place in Amsterdam <clears throat> or somewhere in Europe. 80 million people coming to listen to Biden rap. That ain't real. But that to me just proves more that we're not living in reality. Truth is, what is truth? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I, like I was enticing people in the beginning, everybody at this point has heard about the Sonia <clears throat> Matsy's video, the one where that woman asked police officers to come and look because she heard some noise going on in the background mm -hmm. and she got um bullet to the face it was an assassination attempt except it was successful yeah they may have grazed one of her ears when they were aiming at her face well i, I the reason why i'm bringing it up is not because anybody hasn't heard about it but this is like a real so you have to choose here either this is real time mandela effect or this is the first quantified public evidence that AI video editing and AI video generation is being used and going to be used in court as evidence that this person didn't do what everybody thinks they did. So when I first saw this, it came out, they talked about it on a Saturday and Sunday, and then the full video came out on Monday. I watched the full video and I saw exactly what happened. Uh, they told her to put the pot, turn the, pot, hot, uh, the hot boiling water off, she goes over there. She says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And he says, what? I'm going to shoot you in the face. And so she gets scared. And you can see she puts her hands up and, it, and these are oven mittens. 
And you can clearly see she fell down with the oven mittens. She didn't have the pot in her hand. And I remember, and I watched it over and over, and then there's many clips, people showing that. And so that was stuck in my mind. That's right when the footage came out on Monday, fresh. Everybody saw it, and that's why everybody made the videos. This is crazy. Now the new videos are showing her throwing the water pot, which would justify hot boiling water. If you throw it at a cop, he's going to shoot you. Now that would justify, but now the video is showing that she threw the water pot. And I have both of them, and you're gonna, I'm going to show them That's to you both. That's interesting, yeah, because I haven't seen that one. I've, I saw the original one. Yeah. I didn't see the uh, new version. Yeah, now the new version shows him, her throwing it, and it's like, this is real, folks. <coughs> Minority Report is coming down the pipeline, so you guys check it out. This is the first original video. All right, so you guys see, you guys see it. She's got the... The pot. See the pot right there? You see it right there? Mm -hmm. So in her hand is a red mitten, and in her hand is a white mitten. So Sorry, she's going to go down. Air. You see her? You saw it right there? Mm -hmm. There's no pot in her hand. See? Okay. You see it right mm -hmm. there? So she goes down without the pot. The pot's still right there. This is the one that now everybody gets to see. Now right there, you see it? Now there's a pot in her hand. And now she's going to throw it. And that's what they say is justified. So I'm going to show it again. So watch really closely. See right there? Watch, you're going to see her fling it right there. See it? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we go back to the first one. There's not even a red pot here. Until you get here, then you see this red mitten. See, that's the red mitten. See, that's not a pot. That's a mitten. The pot's right here. I think this is the first real life evidence of AI being used to create generated videos. The See, air. there's no pot in her hand at all. Well, maybe the real video is the one where she attacked the officers throwing the pot. This was the video they played on Monday. I know, I know. I'm saying maybe this is the, the one we saw. The first one they put out was the AI doctored one. Okay, fine. Let's let's we can assume either and way. Again, this is this is going to be another George Floyd incident, like a uh, white man killed an innocent black woman incident, I, or I, and I, maybe I that's what their so. agenda is. I think it's is. the other way around. Because, but we don't know what to believe. Well, now. the reason why I believe <clears throat> they want that is because I know that the Democrats want gun control. They want justification to have either the cops have justification because trump wants this too trump wants to give police i don't know if you guys know this but trump wants to give police just like he has unlimited immunity he wants police to have unlimited immunity you cannot charge police that's what trump wants and we're going to give our police their power back and we're going to give them immunity from prosecution and so this is going to justify it because see people can throw boiling water at you and then the Democrats want to take the guns away to say, you can't have no guns. So if both happens, if Trump wins, he's going to give police unlimited uh, immunity. If the Democrats win, they're just going to take your guns. So either way, it's stupid. So whatever is going on, I think this is the first real evidence that AI is being used to alter videos for whatever game, whatever is the agenda. I don't know what the agenda is. Honestly... It, it depends on what political side you want to come on, and I don't even care. I just want people to realize all this jive that people have been talking about, they ain't going to do it, not going to happen. This is real. This ain't like deep face where people are just making, you know, Taylor Swift videos. <laughs> this is justifying that a police didn't do what they did, either to give them an immunity justification or to take away people's guns. It, it is what it is. But I don't know. When I saw that, that that, tri that freaked me out because I was like, bro, I saw the first video. So I, I don't even know what to say about this. I can't, this ain't even a conspiracy. Like, this is literally two vivid different actions. So whatever you guys want to think about that, you guys take it for what it is. But if they do it to this woman who literally was doing nothing, she called the police to come to help her. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus is the reason why the dude freaked out. He said, what? Because the woman said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. He's like, what? You better not. <laughs> and that's what got him edgy. 
And if that's what it's going to be, at what level, they, they're going to do anything. And see, everybody's thinking, oh, they got body cam. They got body cam. We all can see now. It's like, bro, but they got AI generation. It don't matter. It's never, we are, we're living in skibbity toilets with AI generated uh, Google Voice, Biden. You got AI gener. Well, actually, you got non. That see, that's actually what's interesting. Your video with the with the Star Spangled Banner proved that when we don't get AI generated stuff, everybody's like, "Oh, that's that's really bad." <laughs> and then we have this video jive. So, welcome to the. Uh, well, it's Jeez. just well, it's just Skibbity Toilet. This is just another episode. This is episode one thousand of Skibbity Toilet. Hey, look, I found some oil. America. America. Well, you guys, you already know that robotics is an AI. They've been fusing the two together for advertisement for a while. Um, and now people are really putting it to use, um, like here, they're actually using AI robots to advertise for them. This is the new prostitution. Yeah, this is a new advertisement. Yeah, this is a new, like if you're on the block, they're, 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 what is that? <laughs> Those are numbers. Yeah, see, see, even the girls on the block got to get. Why is it to I told you, this is a new prostitute. You know what's funny is uh, some of their shirts are dirty. Let's see, the so, wim- women so that be. Look at all these angles. Uh, over here. Look, look at how her shirt's dirty. I don't know how her shirt got dirty. It's not like she's moving that much. But. Yeah, in specific areas too. Well, she's just she's advertising. Yeah. See, I don't think it is what it is. I think the women that work the block they need to be concerned. This is going to be the next level of prostitution. You can't compete with this. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is it's over. Yeah. And this, this and you know, think about the pimps. They have to deal with women that are complaining or they're working and they're tired. That thing ain't never going to be tired. Well, I was thinking about like Burger King and Mattress King and all the kings out there who are going to use this robot to advertise for them too. Like they're going to post her up on the corner and she's going to be advertising for her. Yeah, she can do multiple services at one time. Yeah. Like she, yeah, she just makes everybody happy. Yeah. She's going to be wearing that Statue of Liberty outfit talking about Liberty tax. Mm -hmm. At the same time, she's like, you know, $20 for tax. Yep. Yeah. Literally with her, well, she didn't have hands in that one, but she probably will. It's time to make America great again. Yeah, I know they've been also advertising um, the uh, Cobb Quickie. I don't know if you've seen that, the advertisement for that I don't yet. Know, but you shouldn't eat corn on the, you shouldn't eat the cobs of corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this, this actually is a device that actually butters your corn really nicely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like buttered corn. Yeah, so do I. Now, yeah. I know what you guys are thinking, but you have to hear me out for a second. I guess I'll just let the advertisement do all the talking. My newest invention here is called the Cobb Quickie. Hands down, the easiest way to butter your corn on the cob on a hot summer day. You see that that has so high efficiency. Yeah. Of yeah. Put the butter so in the hand. Look at that. Yeah. Design. Place the butter directly onto the center spike. See, this is a good then idea. Simply go to town buttering your corn. We, we need to bring this everywhere to the picnics, no what your to your functions. Is, get the job done. This bring it to the baseball games. The cob yeah. quickie. You can listen to that Ingrid, yeah, uh, whatever her name is. Uh, you're gonna have your corn and your AI. Yeah, mm. that reminds me of what Domino's is doing. Now, see, I'm, I'm going to show you guys this. I, I, I was kind of surprised because this is something I thought Amazon would be doing first. This is something I thought Google would, but for some reason, it's the pizza place. Somehow, Domino's got more innovative. Or have access, or maybe they're just connected with the government. But Domino's now provides jetpack delivery service. Who knew 
that one of the first companies to get jetpacks was Domino's Pizza. <laughs> Look at that. What world are we living in? Now, I saw these jetpacks. Like, I saw the, like, the Navy had them, which makes sense. They were, like, boarding ships with them. Look at and that. then I stopped seeing them until pizza delivery men... They're just they're just flying to work, getting their. Look at that. Yeah, that's good advertising because who wouldn't want their pizza delivered by Rocket Man? Well, you know, to me, it's just like you know, we gotta have to accept it. Well, it was a 2023 thing. I I actually uh, heard about this too, but people kept saying uh, that they thought it was UFO invasions or something, so they had to stop. (laughs) <laughs> well, regardless of what it is, this just shows more evidence. You need to accept your $7.25 minimum wage. You need to accept that we're all just being lazy. We all just need to start working 190,000 hours a week so we can make our $280 a week. And we need to take the advice from our uh, our boomer parents and say, hey, Pull up those bootstraps <laughs> and, and suck it up. And it's time to just be a slave to the robots and technocracy. You ain't got a choice. We haven't had minimum wage increase in, what, 20 years? We're still paying people $7.25 an hour? And this, this, this makes sense. Look, if, if, you, if you got this, how do you compete with this? Right now, you got a human doing it, right? But dang, they're just showing you. It's like, you just want your pizza. You, you don't want to be doing this. How, you, how do you compete with this? So you just need to accept that you're going to be bowing to your overlords. And it's over. Well, imagine getting the phone calls like, yeah, sorry, your pizza's going to be a little late. Our uh, rocket man died on the way over there. So we're going to go ahead and send you a fresh, hot pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't worry about, you know, we'll clean it up. It was actually next to your neighborhood, too, so just don't look out your window. But we're going to bring a fresh, hot pizza. Yeah, and, but this time we're going to send it on an, uh, with a robot to make sure nobody dies. The other guy, we you know, we had to fire him, unfortunately, because he died. But you know, this guy, he's guaranteed delivery 20 minutes or less out in the middle of the woods. You know, <laughs> you're camping, it's fine. But anyways, I just thought it was insane. It's like, you can't compete with this. And for all the people who say, you know, it's not happening, it's not going to happen, we just, you know, this whole episode, they got you convinced that Biden's talking on Google Voice. They got, uh, and when you did listen to real people, you didn't want it. You listened to the real Star Spangled Banner. Nobody liked it. So everybody wants AI generated stuff. So they've already convinced you to accept AI generation as the real deal. We've learned that Biden was learning how to talk from his top 10 rapper list. Everything is right at our, I don't even know what the, right at the toilet flushing handle. It's right at our tips. One person actually told New York Post, seeing a jet suit thing fly over Glasgow was wild, gushed Natalie Dixon to Jam Press. I've never seen a jet suit, let alone one delivering pizzas. And then uh, Dixon later added that she can't wait to see one land on my doorstep in the future. Yeah, and then it says, uh, as of Wednesday, it is unclear if the pizza giant intends to create more jetpack delivery machines. All we can say at this stage is that the idea has legs or wings or jets, said Wilson. Yeah, and you know, who wouldn't want that? I mean, let's be real. Who wouldn't want that? Not only do you get a good show, you get to see Iron Man. You, <laughs> you, you know that there is no justification of interruptions. There's no traffic. He's flying in the sky. The only thing that's competing with him are the birds, and they're not real either. So, <laughs> but they may actually try to, you know, take that pizza. I mean, he may actually show up. There's gonna be a bunch of buzzards yeah, on his I, back. I bet you he's got like laser eyes and whatever else going down. Yeah, if they need to install those kinds of things, he probably will. Yeah. All I can say is that people just need to accept it, along with California's new proposition. So I, you guys have already heard before, I think colleague brought it up, where New York was trying to ban propane gas. 
like all the gas stoves and all the coal burning stoves. But now California is imposing people need to stop grilling food. So it's not good enough to say you can't use propane, you can't use coal, you can't use charcoal. They just don't want you to be grilling anything. That's what if we're grilling like grasshoppers and bugs like they wanted us to? It wouldn't matter. How are you going to cook it? So you can't, use, you can't grill food. So then maybe we're just going to use propane. Nope. Can't use propane and gas. Oh, so we're going to, well, maybe we can just go out there and harvest, you know, start picking berries. Nope, you can't do that because you're going to mess up the wildlife e ecosystem. Oh, maybe we'll just uh, drink water. Oh, you can't do that because the EPA is going to be toxifying your water. Uh, let's just be breatharians and live on the sun. Oh, you can't do that because Monsanto's is going to tax the sun. Well, we can still bake things in Arizona. You just throw it on the sidewalk and grill it on the sidewalk or in your car. No, they're going to tax you for the sun use. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, I guess you got me. I don't know. Yeah, so I, so then, you know, maybe we'll just go into the front yard and start eating our grass and start chopping grass. But you can't do that because HOA is going to come along and say that's a violation of house uh, associational violations. There's literally nothing left. So there's only one choice left to do. What if I want to have sex before I get married? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. And you Is that Jill Biden? I don't know. I think that's Hillary Clinton. Oh, they're really we'll probably rich. take with you your spouse and one or more of your children. But at least the population reduction idea, like population control, is real. And it looked like Jill Biden. I, I mean, I guess people can fact check us. Was it shout out to Jill and Joseph? Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. <laughs> that's it. Because <laughs> there's nothing left. You can't grill. You can't use gas stoves. You can't go out and get free solar because you get solar tax. You can't eat your own grass in your yard because of HOA. You can't drink the water because of uh, EPA toxification. You can't do anything. So the only thing is left is, I guess, you're going to have to prepare <laughs> to die. That's all you can do anymore. Yeah, so at the end of the day just die i'm excited i'm excited to live i got a lot of things i'm looking forward to i'm excited to die i mean you know this is why we live in bottom earth you know colleague if you guys join the live every thursday at 4 p.m eastern time here on youtube he could probably tell you about his wonderful escapades up in top earth and what's up all up there but this is why we live here we have filtered water <laughs> We don't have the sun down here, so there's no tax. We can eat whatever we want, cook whatever we want. We don't care. You guys need to join us. You guys need to come on down to Bottom Earth and be a part of the show. Because at the end of the day, I don't know what you're going to be able to do. What, what, what are you going to be able to do up there? I know down here, you'll catch me in the kitchen, but I ain't cooking chicken. But you could. You can cook rabbits, chicken. Yeah, but I don't, I'm not going to be cooking chicken in the kitchen. Well, you could cook whatever you want. What are you cooking? Whipped cream. Oh. Great. <laughs> cream. <laughs> <laughs> I might be whipping some cream. Yeah. Well, regardless, I, I you know. <sighs> we have, we at this point, we just have to believe because that's the only thing we got left to do i mean it's the only thing that can't get you to not do the only thing you got left is to believe don't tell us what you're believing because soon as you say it they're going to tell you you can't do that too so you just have to believe because they're going to take away your speech they're going to take away everything so you just i believe and they're going to say what do you believe in i'm not telling and that's it that's all you got his mental states. Yeah, but try telling that to the dogs. In the criminal justice system, sexually based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. Yeah, that's elite. These other stories. <laughs> He's confused. He's like, who programmed me to do this? <laughs>
It's uh, probably Nickelodeon, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Even the dogs are confused because they can't even do what they used to do. You know, they, they used to just do this in privacy, but they can't anymore because everybody's filming. So they even know it's like, bro, <laughs> when do I get to be, when do I get to be, just be a dog? But you can't. You can't be free anymore. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's going to get taxed them. too. Well, there's a lot of confusion out there, like a lot. Even people who are for the uh, trans community are confused now. Like, so here's one of these videos I'm sure everybody's seen, but if you haven't, glue your eyes to this. Uh, does it make a trans woman any no. less of a woman? No, you are 100% a woman. Uh, does a, is a trans woman any less? No, 100%. All women are women. Trans okay. women, all women, and like, I, I think you are as much of a woman as what any other... What is your other... opinion on trans women? I support them and I love them. Okay. Like I'm, that's why we're interviewing them. We're showcasing them. Like oh well, you them. haven't interviewed one yet because I'm not a trans woman. Okay. Is there another definition that people like to use, or am um, I? I don't I mean to be. I was born a woman. I was born with female genitals. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. Sorry. I got. <laughs> yeah, he's confused now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought I got confused because I didn't. You, you thought I was a man when I was born. You thought I was born with male genitals? I thought you were... No, I, I think what, that... What did you no, think? Trans women are real women. They are. Yeah. But what did you think I was born with? Well, I... I, I um, yeah. I mean, I just... I don't know. Um, I, 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 I didn't mean that, but <laughs> I... Uh -huh. but you is you that, seem a little confused. I'm a little confused. But that's Do not you offensive. Do you know what you're talking about? Well, I just thought... I just thought that I you were out here celebrating that or whatever. I, I think the confusion is just going everywhere. He was just trying to say, yeah, trans women are women. And she was agreeing until she wasn't anymore. And then she was like, wait, wait, you thought I was a trans woman? He's like, yeah, I mean, I thought you were a woman. That's what I'm saying. You're a woman, right? And she's like, no, there's a difference. And she actually started saying there's a difference. Yeah. It's because nothing's real. Yeah. But we live in a world that nothing is real. So when you get, again, you made it out already when you played the Star Spangled Banner. Mm -hmm. When people got what was real, they didn't want it. They want what is not real. Until you force them to become what is not real, then they're like, no, I want what is real. But because nobody at this point can tell the difference between what is real and what is not real, nobody actually knows what they're standing for. And so you have to admit it. Stop denying it. We are literally in the Truman Show right now. You well, need to come down to bottom earth so you can find reality here in bottom earth. At least at least Ingrid Andress, after the national anthem, she actually checked into a uh, rehab facility afterwards. See? Even she knew it yeah. wasn't real. Astonishment, not pride at Major League Baseball's home run derby in Texas after a singer performing the national anthem struck out. Struck out. <laughs> of the free. <gasps> Four time Grammy nominee Ingrid Andra struggled to hit the note. She later apologized on social media, saying she was inebriated and is checking into rehab. Look, man, that's just PR because everybody can see that the world is AI and they're just trying to cover it up. Look, if you're a four-time Grammy nominee, that's only because of AI and because she, I don't know if it was a malfunction. Maybe the studio didn't have enough, maybe that baseball team didn't have enough money to put AI on it, but they got whatever happened. It was a malfunction and now they're just covering up. She ain't got no drinking problem. The reality is it's hot. It's been hot. I mean, look, look at her forehead. She's sweating. Her yeah. hair is like greasy. It's been like a hundred and something degrees everywhere. Even up north in Northern America and Southern America, it's been a hundred and something. Look at how hot it is. She can barely stare at the sun. Yeah, she's, she's sweating because she realizes it's too late. I have to sing it now. And they forgot to turn on my AI device, my autotunes. And it's really hot. Yeah, because of Category 6 hurricanes, <laughs> which again, where it's not real. Well, because of the sun. I'm talking S-U-N. 
Yeah, the artificial sun. <laughs> Talking about Monsantos. Uh, the K-S-U-N. You know, over in South Korea, they're creating the artificial sun so they can have fusion energy, which that again, again, all of this, it just sounds like we're living in the simulation video game. You got people over here building artificial suns. <laughs> we got... At what point are we actually living in reality? I, I don't know. We may all just be in a matrix right now. Well, no. Everybody believes we're living in reality, but what, is, what, point, what point do we trust it? I mean, everything we're being fed from the national anthem to Sonia Matsi to jetpack delivery services, uh, can't barbecue outside, can't even be a breatharian. I mean, at what point is anything real? I don't know. I mean, it, there's some people who move really fast out there too. And I wonder if this is AI generated. Um, like I, you guys, I showed you guys the uh, dragon hands a long time ago. Dragon hands. Yeah. The guy who can move fast as a light. He, he lets a pen fall. Oh, and Inspector he, Gadget. The, uh, the guy, he moves his hand really fast and then he grabs the pen before it falls. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Even he knew he looked at the camera because he knew. This is this is big, what he just did. Yeah, he broke the matrix. Yeah, I think this is one of his videos. Yeah, I remember. I don't know if this was the one you shot. Yeah, look at that. We had to slow it down. Look at this. One, two, three. We literally had to slow it down just so you can see his hand because he was moving so fast. And now he just came out with a new video. Look at this. I'm actually more... Well, hold on, hold on. Play it back. He's looking at some... Who's he looking at? He's looking at a piece of paper. No, no, no. I think he's looking at his simulation master. Everybody's got... Er, no, he's looking at a simulation master. Yeah. I think... That, you can't fake that. That's not... I mean, it, this may be AI generated. That's AI agent. <laughs> <laughs> he He's just too fast and too furious. If this guy... It's almost like Jason Bourne, mm -hmm. but... Um, Jason Unborn. He's actually, his hands are so fast, you can't even see his hands moving unless you slowed the time down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that feels like... You don't seem like you're a believer. No. Well, I'm a believer, but to me, it just feels like that's the next level. We're going to have AI masters. You know, everybody thinks we're going to have AI agents because AI agents are, they are our servants, right? But no, it's backwards. We're going to have AI masters. They're going to tell us what to do, and we're going to be entertaining the AI. AI masters are coming down the pipeline. That guy was given the side eye. You, you, he put the paper there so you, it would give you a justification of what he was looking at. But really, it was his AI master lord. No, look at so look at his hands. Yeah, look at his hands. Look at this. Yes, yeah, so he's giving a side out. Look at that. You can't you can't hack that. Look at this. Boom, it's gone. And he has this little timer on the side over here to show you he's not speeding up the footage. Look at this. <laughs> This guy, look at that. He, he just went into a different dimension. I'm trying to figure out what AI would think about it. They're trying to learn, like, if you're using this as training. Look at this. Like, humanity's doomed. <laughs> this, this is what that doesn't look doomed to, to me. This is what they're doing on their off time. Yeah, he missed, because he, he went right through it. That Joker doesn't even know what he's looking at. <laughs> he's looking look at, at the false dimension. Look, look at this. He can't believe it himself. He's not even speaking English. <laughs> He's speaking another dimension. <laughs> and Joker's gone. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's gone all right. Yeah. He's he's just too fast for us. Look, that's another good example. That guy's not even in reality. <laughs> he's so gone. Look at this. Look at that. We have to slow it down. Look at this. What's this gesture? 
Look at that. He got it. Look. Look at that. What is that's this not, second? That's not sped what is up. This? He's he's hitting. He's he's punching <laughs> in midair. Kind air. of masonic gesture. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, this is uh this is real life. Yeah, someone in the comments actually said Jason Bourne. Uh, it reminds me of Inspector Gadget. <sighs> yeah, he's Inspector Fast Boy. This guy's got hands like Jackie Chan's. Yeah, see, and that's what we're being entertained by. We're being entertained by Dimension Man. Yeah, so he's this is like a bar trick. People just can't, they just can't hack it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're only proving more that there's nothing real. Not that that's not real. I believe people probably oh. could do that. What's re not real is that people, how many was that guy? What? Probably millions of views. Yeah. yeah. yeah the people are watching that. That's not real. Who's, <laughs> who's watching this? <laughs> <laughs> I <am. laughs> Like literally <laughs> who's like, oh, wow. I, I am entertained. I'm in, I'm impressed. Mm. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just in a different reality. Look at this. Creeper. I'm joking. You put some clothes on. <laughs> yes. So he started the timer. So you know. Boom! It's gone. I mean, this guy. He, he, did, he, you, did you even see his hand move? I'm more concerned about the situation. Like, does he need a drink? Is he shaking? Boom. Look, I'm more concerned about the situation. It's like this guy just wakes up in the morning. The first thing he does is like, I need to just do another grab video. <laughs> it's like before I drink coffee, before I do anything, what I need to do is show the world my skills. And what's sad is that there's people out there that's like, I can't wait for his next release. <laughs> yeah, he's just too fast. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm not impressed. I'm a, I'm actually more concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned why people are watching this. I'd be concerned, too, because if you ever run into that guy in public, yeah, I'd be concerned, too. I am concerned, just what, with, right there with you. Yeah. This guy would literally cut your jugular before you even say hello. <sighs> the only thing I can do is t t show you guys this. <laughs> oh. I'm impressed. I need one of these. Look at that. Yeah, there's some. I've seen some pretty cool uh, little tire covers on the backs of like cars and stuff. There's one in particular. Remind me of that one that you just showed. I mean, this is what we're entertained by. You got man over here grabbing cigarette lighters, and you got people over here putting urinational devices on the back, and it's like this is it. We can't have reality anymore. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta have some weird alter form of entertainment. People don't want to listen to people talking. People don't want to listen to people thinking. They want to be entertained by fast hands. <laughs> Look, it's a pterodactyl shitting fireworks on a baby. <laughs> See, I, I can at Look, least respect this. You know why? Pterodactyl shitting fireworks Look at that. on a baby. Look at that. Pause it. Yeah. See, look at this. See, at least this is thought provoking. Yeah, you got the pterodactyl. Um, literally shooting flames <laughs> on a baby. See, at least we can talk about oh, this. It's giving us the middle finger too, I think. Yeah, see, because that's, that's where the celestial soup comes from, for where the origins of life started. <laughs> I, but, you know, somebody had to think of this, like, huh. Mm -hmm. Pterodactyls and babies go together. And then... Uh, or storks. Yeah, that's a pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it kind of, you know, kind of mimics a stork. How? I don't know. They kind of have those long. See, it causes us to talk yeah, about it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm saying. Deep. It's really deep. It's see, true. this is okay. That's At least true. it forces us to talk about something. Unlike switchblade hands, it's just. Yeah, I mean, even in the comments section, somebody said the oatmeal. I don't, I, I don't know, know what that either. even means. Um, somebody also said, never thought I would hear that sentence spoken. Another person said, I was that baby. Mm. And then uh, someone else said, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. We're not in reality. <laughs> this ain't real. Anyways, you guys can tell us what you think about all of this reality and greatness. This is incomprehensible divinity. We just need control. We need to take regain control. And we need people that are able to control. Like yeah, not not control hungry people, not power hungry people, but people that have control. So there are there is one guy I saw that has a lot of control. <laughs> So the, yeah, 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 I understand. This is just like switchblade hands. Yeah, the, the thing up here says the control is insane. Yeah, you must be talking from experience. Yeah, I mean, that, that is that control. Maybe it's robot controlled. <laughs> <laughs> that guy has control more than Trump, more than Hillary Swank, more than... Um, J Elon. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, we before this episode, we were trying to figure out what was what is Skibbity Toilet really and what's up with the Skibbity Jiggler. Now we're trying to figure out how to get that kind of control. Well, I would all of it is just trying to figure out this isn't real. <laughs> this isn't actually entertaining. How did it get to this point? And it has to be because we <clears throat> we have submitted so much of our physical control <laughs> or actions in life that the only thing that we're entertained by has to be things that are artificially generated. No, not um, Bruso or whatever the guy's name was. He had control over his body. Yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. The the only things that we tend to be entertained by now is people when, with control. Is when people mess up. He didn't mess up. He had full control over everything. Yeah, but there was no usefulness in it. That's why we're entertained. I don't know about that. Well, yeah, I guess I guess <laughs> it's your prerogative. <laughs> <laughs> There's other people that have control too. You can tell they're uninfluenced by social media. They have full control. Then why when is you, it on social media? <laughs> Well, because somebody's filming. Like, there's another guy I'll show you that also has full control over reality. It's almost like in the Matrix when you see that kid looking at the spoon and he moves his head and he bends the spoon. Neo doesn't even have that control. Like, he's envious. He starts coveting that kid's control over reality. Like, this is one of those, another example. Who is? Who's that Morgan Freeman? <laughs> Look at that. He's got full control. Yeah, see, that's the future. Look at that. That's the singularity. Yeah, and he's just sitting there enjoying a meal. He's just he's reached the singularity. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. First of all, he's like he's just controlling air and all of a sudden he just pulls this thing out of thin air and then he makes it float mm. and he brings it back down and he's like, I'm gonna stay. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then he's just other people are just trying to eat a meal. And he's not let him. He's just he's controlling the whole room. Like everybody's watching him, and he's not even watching anybody. Or he's just in, in incorporated into his reality. And you don't think that's more evidence that nothing's real? No, I think that actually shows that we are. It is real. Like Israel and Netanyahu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, like this guy right here, um, skating Yahoo. He's actually got full control too. He is. Yeah, he just took the guy's drink. Look at this. So you see this guy standing right here. He's holding a drink. He's, I don't know what he, he's watching somebody. And then this skater guy just comes out, takes the guy's drink. <laughs> he's like, that's full control. That's full matrix. <laughs> Jigger like, pops into existence like quantum fluctuations. Yeah. And then he just. The other guy was like, wow, I was trying to enjoy my simulation and you interrupted it. Yeah, like you can actually see the guy's face too. So when right here, he just knows. Like this guy right here knows. I just, I'm thirsty. So he took what he wanted. 
Look at this. Not even looking back. He just doesn't even care. Well, you can tell now he's smiling. So he's like, yeah, I rocked it. Yeah, this almost looks like Photoshop. Like, this is a green screen almost, but you know it's not. Because this guy's happy. You got Sandra Bullock. This you got some suspicious like, kid over here selling drugs. Like open, open AI sort. <laughs> <laughs> and AI is just having a good time. <laughs> See, everybody's happy. Yeah, I guess that's the that's the tale. If everybody's happy, you know it's AI. Because everybody's not happy. Yeah, the comments, uh, one person said, can't even be mad. Another person said, the steez, so buttery. Look, man. <laughs> Everything you end up showing, it's just more end up, it's just more evidence to prove. The only thing that it seems like humans are entertained by now are things that are evidently AI generated. If it tends to be too real, like things that you and I could do, nobody cares. If you saw somebody outside just nailing a piece of wood, everybody's like, who cares? If you see somebody just working on a car, people's like, who cares? But when you see the Matrix manifest, you see Super Inspector Gadget Boy, you see butt control, you're like, wow. <laughs> This is exciting. I like this. But if you see just regular activity like life, real life, like that, I don't I don't like that. I don't want that. Yeah, well there's it's almost like normal activity normal activity one. I like nobody that. I no, like your first one, actorial. Oh <laughs> <laughs> like well, nobody's gonna go see that movie. Yeah. They'll see paranormal. They'll see above normal. AI They'll see, activity. Yeah, AI activity, but they're not going to see normal activity two or but, normal activity four. It'll never even make it to five. Yeah, and that's all I'm trying to push <clears throat> out is is that we, we've been so acclimated that we don't, it's not only that we don't want to live in reality, it's just to the point that's now it's, I don't think anybody believes in reality. Because they don't even want to look at it. I believe. It's a, almost like, brother, ugh. I don't even want to look at reality. Well, I believe. There, there is one more video of a woman controlling in, in full control. And then there's a man who is not in control of anything. So have you ever seen a tree jiggle its fruits in front of a woman? More AI. No, I haven't. Okay, well, this is not AI. You can tell. Okay, I'm taking a video. If I don't video it, nobody's going to believe me. Uh, nobody's going to believe you. Well, actually, everybody will believe you because this is AI. Look, there's no wind. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's AI. not really any wind. There's always wind. And then you see this happy tree over here. Happy tree. There's always motion. Hey, look. Oh, you, you we had it? this before, like in episode three or something. There's that woman that was talking. This is a happy she tree. figured out how to waving. talk to trees. This woman is in full control of her reality and her environment. Yeah, there was a woman who was able to make a tree stand up on its own and all yeah. that. Um, or this talk woman, to her. Yeah, yeah. This woman is making the tree jiggle. She says, oh, happy tree, happy tree. And the, the tree starts just jiggling its stuff in front of her. And she's like, oh, happy tree, happy tree. You can tell she is in full control right now, especially of this tree. And you know the only reason why people like this, again... Because it's artificial. It's control. That's People not, want some of that. No, it's Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> it's nobody knows. Everybody knows that's not real. Everybody knows it is real, and they want some of that control. They just, they lust after this Doesn't kind of control. Doesn't sound like anybody wants what is real. It is, especially Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Nate dog. But there, so here's a guy who unfortunately doesn't control anything. And I think it's obvious. feels real. <laughs> He's like, wow, it could have been me. Why are you with me? <laughs> see, see, again, again. I'm going to go back to that guy. I'm telling you. Nobody wants to watch a happy ending. People oh, yeah. want to watch the misery. They want control. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This guy, so you have this beautiful wedding video who Grandpa Paul is keeps walking in front of for whatever reason. 
And then it looks over at this guy who you can tell just by his stance. He's like, I need a drink, even though he's got one. I don't know if that's empty. It looked like it was spill or something. What looks like what happened here, if I had to interpret what's going through this guy's mind is he just got off the phone with his boss and he has to go into work today after this. And now he's depressed. Like this is he. This is so exciting. He doesn't want it to end. It's a great day, <laughs> but he can't. <laughs> he, he has to go to work after this. That's why he's dressed up like this. The suit, the tie isn't really loose. He's just not in control of his reality, and you can tell. Just look at his posture. Even his heart posture is like sunken in. It's like concave over here. You know, maybe you're just inferring the phrase of controlling reality as artificial reality. No, this is... Because that's like, what is that? What's that this guy? This isn't artificial. What's, this is official. What's that anime character that, like, Wendbender? Airbender? Yeah, I think it's called Airbender. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, that's control. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what people want. They want artificial reality. They want superpowers. When you, yeah, when you can make a tree jiggle in front of you, or when you can just go up and take some guy's drink out of his hand, or you can control your body in certain ways as you're walking, like you're just walking, but some parts of your body don't fit the script because you've controlled it. Yeah, you're you're not just an airbender. You're actually just a reality bender. You're just a, you're on a bender. <laughs> yeah, like this guy kind of looks like he's he's in well, the wash cycle. I, this right is what now. I'm saying. So if what you're saying is is that people just want artificial power. Yeah, I can agree with you. No, because they that's want, what they want. They want official power, not artificial. Okay, fine. That, they, that official power. Yeah, maybe go. maybe they want official power. Yeah, but either way, it's artificial. I and, don't think so. I think this is reality because real life. He's not excited. Yeah, he has to go into work. Yeah, to have to it's right. Me. It's real life. And at this point, I think people are starting to realize, <laughs> I don't want to live in this real life because it's not real. Yeah, he's got to, everybody's See, got to go to work. This is waking up from the simulation. This is literally waking up when you realize, I don't, I don't want to work. You know, we just returned back to when we were like five years old. It's like, I just want to get in that cardboard box and I want to get back. And talk to my imaginary friends. Believe I have imaginary super hands like Bruce Lee. I want to have ultimate butt control. I want to believe Google Voice is real. I, I, I want to live in this world. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, that's happening now. Look at him. Look at that control. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> and they're like, it's just bringing you back to when you were five. It's like, it is real. Like Nathan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I think that's what people are realizing that we really are Truman. Well, I mean, you could always just go try to take control. So maybe this is a artificial or official reality that you're able to control. It doesn't make any difference. You're able to control it. Like some people actually try to take control. Yeah, but they're not succeeding. <laughs> Having a really difficult time. The simulation's fighting back. <laughs> it's like, no, bro. This is it. You're not him. You're not him. I mean, that's a little too difficult. Usually when it's really simulation, everything's smooth and it's easy and it's like, oh, oh. But this guy's like working way too hard. That's the simulation fighting against you. Yeah. It's like you could have just taking control but he was he was going about it the wrong way or he was just not following the program he was yeah. trying to go against the timeline yeah and everybody was just saying they're fil filming him too yeah because they all knew it's like bro you, what are you doing it's not time because when it is time everybody's in the right angle everybody's in the right place and everybody's like oh yeah this is it and everybody's excited but when you fight against the simulation everybody is programmed to show you as a Simulator. I don't even know. <laughs> but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode here at Toilet Time TV. Episode 113. Episode 113. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you guys tune in every Thursday 
at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We don't know what time you guys are on, but 4 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube. Join us live where you can talk to us about more of your skibbity toilets, about uh, more of your artificial realities. Um, you can you can ask us anything. Uh, you can talk to us about uh, which way you wipe. Uh, you know, you can talk to us about. Uh, I don't know. My mind is so on a third base right now. Like, I, I'm feels like I'm having an existential crisis. I don't know why illusionary realities are so populated outside of the construct that people are just it's either because everybody is realizing I don't have to do this anymore so nobody is finding satisfaction in it or solipsism is real I mean, this is it and I don't think solipsism is real so I think people are realizing I don't have to play this game if I don't want to but anyways outside of that that's true of, I can attest to that yeah outside of all of that you guys check out our audio podcast on all the platforms TTTV podcast or Toilet Time TV check out the discord it's in the link but again the main thing Join us every Thursday for our lives where you can talk to us more about your toilet episodes, your toilet experiences, your simulated toilet experience. Your skibussy. Yeah. Just don't look inside of it. I want you to know that I've smoked pot. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah. Well, anyways, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. That helps us out. Also, like this video and comment your questions and thoughts, and we would appreciate your support as we continue bringing more episodes like this. And also, I have I didn't say it. Hit that join button, join and become a TTTV member, helping us provide more episodes like this. But until next time, that is colleague. We are glad that he's back. I am host. And Alice is still trying to control these... Realities. Yeah. But until next time, join us in this alternate reality here down at the bottom of this flush... Alice hole. Flush fest. (laughs) At TTTV. Toilet Time TV. Your source. For the junk. For the fresh. The fruits. And we're out of here.